is gonna be a full one today. This is gonna be a full one. I just got done with like a two and a half hour boxing session. You want to see me come out of this hoodie? The pump's too crazy right now. Actually, it's my hands are just dead. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't gotten any food. I was late. We gotta film. <clears throat> so that means. I gotta catch my breath, man. If I don't eat this, I'm gonna pass out telling you to split. But if you're just tuning in, if you're new, what's up? If you're not new to the channel, you already know the vibe. Welcome to another video. We're gonna get serious here in a second, kind of break down um, my current work and workout split, what I've been doing the last like mm, five or six weeks. I've been riding with it consistently, give you the reasons for why I'm doing stuff, hence why we got the whiteboard today. Yeah, part of my chewing. I need some carbs to get through this. I just did that about it. I was like, all right. That's what I showed you this show. As promised, uh, two videos, two videos ago now. Yeah, two videos ago, I had a, uh, I did a giveaway. All the blessed supplements, tub of protein, tub of oxy shred, creatine. I don't know, I'll throw up the frame here so you can actually see it. Okay, so the winner, we're about to pick that one out real quick. And then get into this. The winner to give away. I swear this is random, nice and spontaneous. I've seen this video right here. This back workout with David Laid. Give it a minute. Skip to like. It, it picks up at like four and a half minutes. This might be the, one of the sicker videos I've ever done. So definitely peep that. But we'll go back another video. You see this, Ken? Yo, 1,330 comments. That is insane. I'm assuming most of these are giveaway related. Uh, but first off, yo, congrats to you. Like, thank you for that. That's some real participation. You guys are really out here like that. I love it. I love it. Scroll down through it like lows. So. We're gonna scroll down for a minute and then a random swipe up and down. First one I see, whatever the cursor lands on, that's it, that's how we're doing it. I think we might have made it. Nope. I don't know, like, what's a good way to do this? All right. I like this, right here. The cursor's on it. Demetrius, six days ago. Keep up the dope videos. I would love to win the giveaway. Mr. Demetrius, thank you for entering the giveaway. You love to win it, you won it. Shoot, man. Uh, congrats. All right, Demetrius, you better shoot me this email, man. This is your shot, buddy. Thank you, guys. Uh, so, so much, like, I, I couldn't do any of this without your support and, and love throughout the videos. Uh, what else do I have to say? The participation is amazing. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to do another giveaway. I, things have been going crazy, um, you know? Hopefully the channel does hit 300, but I want to do a giveaway before that, whether it comes sooner or later. Um, I just appreciate it. Let's get to the video. So the reason you're actually here, hopefully, is for the workout split, what I'm doing right now. But let me break it down and explain it. And we'll rock and roll. I mean, little things here. I'll uh, we'll start with Monday. Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? A little lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sabado, domingo action. That's, yeah, you didn't think I'd pull out that Spanish on you, but I did. All right. I did pass third grade Spanish. Thank you very much. But cool. So I should have it memorized by now. Let's see. And before you freak out over the whole bro split, I'm going to explain it. It's not a traditional bro split. So calm down. Plus, there's. Something I gotta explain about the bro split anyway. Uh, Wednesday. What's Wednesday? All right, so pardon the sloppy handwriting, but let me break it down generally. And before I go into it, let me explain like the, the reason behind this so you understand it's not just random muscle groups throughout the week. So my biggest thing right now with my training and where I'm at is I want to thoroughly hit every muscle group at least once a week. The reason I don't do twice a week is because I'm at the point where, yeah, I could hit my back twice a week, but it's a, it's a more dominant feature on me and there's other features that need attention. So my focus with planning this out when I, when I first planned it five weeks ago was what are my weak, weak points 
and how do I hit them as effectively as possible and for me that's frequency because for example I want to bring up my shoulders that's like number one shoulders and biceps now I could do a three hour shoulder day that's cool that's great but after about an hour of that shoulder day I'm really not getting anything out of that session in fact I mean if you're training for three hours I mean that's I mean you're gonna start hurting yourself because you need to get in be efficient and then recover um, and really I try to keep most workouts to like even in intense ones, like I don't like to go above 25 sets, and that's a lot. Like 20 is a good number for me in terms of sets per workout. Um, but the, like I said, so the big, the big things are biceps. That's why biceps on, is, are on here twice. And then shoulders are on here three times because I'm really trying to increase the volume. So it's, like I said, instead of doing that, you know, trying to kill shoulders for two and a half hours, I can just break up those sets throughout the week, have time to recover. So when I'm actually hitting those sets of shoulders on those exercises, it's more effective because I have energy for it. Um, and that's the way it worked out. So yeah, it does, like I said, it, it has this chest and tri back and by, but I still don't consider it uh, a traditional bro split, although it has elements of it. It just worked out a little bit easier um, when I was, you know, trying to make sure I, I, I hit, you know, when I was trying to set up the muscle groups the way I wanted to. We go chest and tri on Monday, Back and by on Tuesday, shoulders on Wednesday, legs on Thursday, give that upper body a break because that is a lot of upper body. And then this is more volume. So I, even though there's a heavy shoulder session here, these three, are, I'll, I'll show you in a second, start with compound lifts and with the leg day on Thursday. The Friday still uses you know compound movements for chest, shoulders, and biceps, but it's, it's a lot lighter, it's more volume. Um, you know, I'm not coming in and trying to hit a heavy, heavy bench press for chest. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then that way it's, it's, it's more effective. I can still have an effective shoulder portion of this Friday, even, even though it's only two days after Wednesday because I'm not trying to push the same weight. Saturday is active rest. I've been boxing on Saturdays. Sunday, legs and shoulders, just to wrap it up. So it's kind of a weird day, but it, it allows me to hit my legs twice a week, which is always a goal, a goal of mine just because I've been skinnier and if I don't hit my legs twice a week, they, they start to shrink a little bit uh, and then finishing off the week with hitting that shoulders for the th third time. Yeah, I love supersetting the, the dumbbell hamstring curl for whatever reason, when I'm laying on a bench, curling the, curling the, uh, uh, the weight, I feel it better than any machine that that's targets the hamstring, but it, it's just preference. And all my calf raises are drop sets, like literally everything. Because um, the biggest thing with this and growing my calves, and I've seen some decent results, whether you want to hate in the comments or not, I've seen some decent results, but it, it comes down to that time under tension. So controlled reps on the slower end, especially on the eccentric, but then as soon as your gas dropping off a little bit of that weight, and then, you know, trying to hit another 10, 12 reps. That just tears my calves up every time. I love it. Right. it. Took a minute. I didn't go through all the actual set numbers and stuff. I'll kind of explain it. This full thing with the actual sets and, and reps and everything I do is going to be... Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it on my website. So I just dropped the website too. So that just happened. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this on my website. So check the link in the video description. I'm going to have this for free. You don't have to put in an email, none of that junk. I just need a place so I can upload the actual like completed Excel file. Um, and you guys can reference it if you want to try it out. It is a little bit, I'll say, more on the advanced side of things. Um, not that I'm anything fancy or special, but I've been training for a minute and my body's used to this. You know, if I was just starting even in my first year or so, this would be too much volume for me. Um, but if you do want to try it out, it is focused on uh, definitely shoulders, legs, but it still builds a balance because, you, you know, we start with the compounds, compound movements and, and, and hit everything overall. But what I will say, if you are just maybe just starting or, or want a little bit more of a plan to follow, I did just drop my first workout plan uh, and it's like an app based. It's, it's actually really sick. It's got this whole app interface. You can actually track your uh, progress once you start the app. So like once you're like in a workout, you're like, oh, I did 15 pounds for this, 35 pounds for that. You can keep track of everything. 
um, and it's sick. It's a 12-week transformation guide. Definitely check it out if, you, if you're looking for a little bit more structure because um, it, it goes through the fundamentals. It starts with like a four-day-a-week four split and then kind of evolves into a five-day split and emphasizes more on the muscle groups. It's, it's really just a, a lot of it. Like I try to take, basically what I try to do is take all the experience I've had over the last like, shoot, like four and a half years from coaches I've worked with and stuff and uh, figuring things out on my own a lot too and, and, and tie it with a you know, mixture of exercise science and say, all right, this is, this is pretty overall, teach you some functionality, teach you how to lift. Um, if you're just starting, that's what those first four weeks are geared toward. But enough about that, check it out. The link is below to that. It's only like, uh, I think like 20, 24 bucks for 12 weeks. It's like two bucks a week. It's a one-time payment. You get access to it. It has videos. Um, you could buy it and then not look at it so, you know, for 30 years. And it'll still be there. So check it out. But uh, nah, this, this I'm going to link on the website too. So same link will have this Excel sheet. Huh. If there's anything I want to emphasize on this, um, I like it. Like, like one of the best things I've heard is from another YouTube YouTuber. This is dude... Uh, What's that? I don't know if you watch a lot of fitness videos, Ken. Dude's name is Yo Elliot, I think. That's what he's always say. He'd be like, Yo Elliot is cool dude. I feel like we're probably related or some shit. Anyway, uh, he said, he, I quote him on this. He said, everything works till it doesn't. I like that. Like I said, I switch, I switch this up once I feel like I've hit that plateau. Um, give it a shot, yo. If, especially if you want some delts, give it a shot. Uh, it's linked. Anything else? Did you, did you have a question? You said something about because I, I do all like, the supersets. How do you choose your sets. workouts? Of, like, how do you choose whether it's a gonna be a superset, a drop set? The, the big focus <laughs> is making sure I can hit the compounds in each lift, and then when it comes to supersets and, and drop sets, a lot of it has come from feel. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I know going through a workout, okay, if I did that exercise standalone, and then the, the next exercise. I wouldn't, A, the, the workout starts to stretch too long, so a, a great thing with supersets and drops is, is like, the more you lift, the more you realize, all right, I can't like functionally do all these exercises, especially on this weird Friday where it's chest, shoulders, and biceps. I'm not gonna be able to just do, sit down and do like four sets or even three sets of every exercise, maximum effort, 60 second rest. Like, I'm gonna be at the gym for like two, two and a half hours. So time definitely plays a factor in putting it together. Um, and then the strategy is I try and keep them towards the end of the workout. When I start to fatigue, I know I'm going to be pushing less weight. So I kind of use volume uh, to my advantage, you know, if you have certain goals. But whatever your goal is, try to tailor your workout to that. And for me, a big part of lifting is more than, hey, I, I want these shoulders or um, I want my legs to look at this. I just love to work out, like, period. I love it. So it, that, that's always been the primary motivation. And then, like... Like from that, I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, I, I want to build this physique, um, you know, maybe be able to press, you know, a certain weight um, for X amount of reps and improve. But uh, for me, the biggest thing is knowing, all right, I'm, I'm accomplishing a goal when I'm going in, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's, it's my time for, to get some mental clarity, to have a good session and, um, and, and just build on, build on that for, for the rest of my day. That's enough of that. I'm not gonna go into like the this, this sentimental stuff of me working out, but uh, it's time to train some shoulders. And by train some shoulders, I mean get some food because I already trained my shoulders. But go check out the workout and see. So this right here is basically our workout. We got shoulders today. So standing military press. One arm dumbbell lateral raises, super set it with a dumbbell lateral raise, like a high cable row. Really, really good for the rear delt. And then finishing it off with some front raises.
know, I'm pretty, pretty loose, pretty warm. Still gonna hit like a set or two just with the barbell. Fill it out. I can't lie, I definitely noticed the belt Woo. on lifts like that. It's the stability, like I'm still keeping my core engaged, especially like if you're doing an overhead press, um, if you're not seated. So even if you're just doing a dumbbell, make sure you're, you're, those legs are locked in, nice and firm like athletic base, shoulder width apart pretty much. That's what I go with. But I just have to stay tight, because the last thing I want to do is push that up, I'm not tight, then all of a sudden I tweak something in my back. Um, and it, you know, there's always a risk of injury, but I'm trying to do what I can to minimize it. But I like that. I like that's my this is my first session overhead pressing with the belt on. I like it for real. I keep going. So that's one set. That's one set. It's gonna be four of those. And nothing crazy. It's gonna be a little bit of swing. I'm gonna go set alarm as, as normal. But then really try, I just really try to get some more controlled reps out of the uh, out of the, the double, you know, I don't know what you're calling it. Normal lateral rates, I guess. But uh, even still when I'm swinging, I'm trying to still keep tension in that shoulder on the way down. So it's not like a, a full swing. It looks, you know, I'll probably look fast pace, whatever, but I'm, I'm still trying to flex my shoulder coming down with the way that um, so that's half the rep you're missing out on otherwise. We got three. See, this is what I know I'm having fun. Like, I can't, I'm not really, like, with it enough to string these sentences together. Ken's looking at me like I'm crazy, but I'm just, I'm just running off fumes, but. Talking may not be there, but the lift is on point.
All right, last two. We got a nice little, nice little rear delt front throw. Same set. That's what all there is too. This one we're gonna drop set. So every set on here, the goal is like 12 reps roughly, and then uh, drop down and see if I can bust out six or eight. Because the drop set's not gonna be a lot. I'm not gonna, you know, I might hit, we'll say like 120 pounds in the, the first set. I'm not. I'm not gonna drop to like where I know if I drop to 60 pounds, I know I can get another easy 12. You know, I'm gonna go from maybe 120 to like 100 or 90 pounds in each of those consecutive reps is gonna be a struggle. Yeah, really just, just about time and attention, but I'm not using the drop set as a way to just make it easy to hit another 12 reps. Just aim high, that way your last not taking over, you're hitting more to rear delt, the higher you aim on the chest. So I go like, like pretty much just nip line. And then, and then in the front raise, just controlling the way down. Not, not really seconds, I'd say. I'm probably going like one and a half seconds, a little bit slow on the way down. That's that. Mentally and physically exhausted. Especially mentally. Still a good workout though. Like, still love it. Still have fun. But that's all I got for you today. Shoot. Leave a like if you stay through for the video. I do appreciate it. But yeah, that's that's uh that's really it. That's the that's the philosophy behind the split I'm on right now. Uh, it's working for me. It's getting the job done. So keep riding with, with it for a while and I, I switch my splits up I don't I, I'm not just gonna use that for like a year or until my weak points um, are, are quote-unquote fixed you know your body's always gonna adjust to your training that's that's one thing I know is a fact so um, it's about keeping your body guessing overall but uh hey it's getting the job done right now so keep riding with it that's the shoulder day that's a wrap it's time to go to sleep man but what do I know I'm just merc Thanks for watching.